Get in the Yuletide spirit, everybody. Bella Rosa here for another episode of My Pagan Pal Crafts and Such, the channel where you can find pagan-related crafts and such, and I hope your tree is out and lit up and decorated, ready to go, because we are going to add one more ornament to it with faux stained glass pentacles. Here they are, so check it out. For this festive project, you will need a flat round glass ornament. I picked these up at my local craft store. Now I was about to grab the Mod Podge Super Gloss Brilliant Finish, but grabbed this instead and later found that mixed with acrylic paint, it's just too viscous. So I switched to what was originally suggested in the video I researched, which was Mod Podge Finish mixed with food dye, but more on that later. For a complete list of items used, check out the box below. You will need access to a computer and a printer so you can print out this pentacle to use as a template. The link to this image is also listed below. The ornament measured three and three quarters inches wide, so I printed my image to size so the border would come right to the edge of my ornament. I removed the string at the top and cleaned the surface with isopropyl alcohol. Make sure you line up the top of the point of the pentacle with the hole in the glass, making sure that the outer edges of the pentacle match up with the edges of the glass. Begin tracing your image with fabric glue. Now with this first one I made, I was a little heavy with the application, a little shaky, and as a result, it looked awful. The paint will flatten slightly as it dries, which widens the borders of the design, leaving less room for the colors later. So it's important to find a smooth and steady pace so that your lines are thinner and neater. I found that holding my breath while drawing each line helped me make a clean final look. As you practice, you'll get a feel for it, and anything you mess up can easily be wiped away with the alcohol, or you can start over entirely with just some soap and water. Four hours later, the pentacles are completely dried and it's time to prepare your colors. Now I mentioned earlier that this medium mixed with the acrylic paint wasn't yielding the exact results I was looking for, so I did switch to the food dye method and Mod Podge Super Gloss. I used about four drops per teaspoon for the yellow and two drops for the rest of the colors and then I just adjusted them to my liking. Basically, I was just eyeballing it and though this technique worked pretty well, uh, for me it was still missing that, you know, yuletide look. So I added a few drops of a pearlizing medium to each of the colors instead of using glitter like I had originally planned for and I absolutely loved the effect. It was just the right amount of sparkle I was hoping hoping for. Then I mixed the red and blue together in different strengths to create a gray bluish kind of plumish purple. Be sure to use a paintbrush with a point so you can get into all those nooks and crannies of your design. You can apply the paint as thick or as thin as you'd like, but I found that somewhere in the middle of that is best. Also, take your sweet time with this. Don't rush it or it's going to look like you rushed it. It's an art form, so put on some holiday tunes and just go with it. Use small amounts of paint in small, even strokes to get a nice and even surface of the finished product on your piece so you can make it look really nice. To make a clear glass paint with a touch of shimmer, just mix a few drops of pearlizing medium with the Mod Podge. Your pentacles will dry quickly and once they're all done drying, reattach the strings. I think they all came out really nice. I'm boxing these up and shipping them back home to my circle but this red one is going straight onto the tree and there it is in all its magnificence and shiny goodness look how it gleams and glows under those lights i'm ecstatic i mean i can't help myself i just love this time of year i love that i can share this craft with you guys try it out hang it on your tree you won't regret it if you like what you saw here today and you want to be kept up to date on the latest episodes, then subscribe now, become a Pagan Pal, like up this video, and I'll see you next time for another episode of My Pagan Pal Crafts and Such. Bye!